on One Piece. One Piece, so bro, again, Scratch bro, Man, oh, <laughs> motherfucking oh, Apu. Oh, uh, young no, no, I'm, 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 no, I'm first bitch. Fuck out of here. So we'll get to go. Go Apu. Go. How, how do I say that? Go Apu. Uh, Apu go. Whatever. How about uh, Watch Wan Wapu. <laughs> <laughs> well, Apu, right? No, Wapu. So, before we, before we get to the goatness that's happening, right? Oda, once again, <laughs> proving my point. on the, the fucking, um, what proving, is the, the scalers or whatever. Proving my point. Mm. No, 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 no. It, 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 it's just, me this and you right now, bro. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. oh the Pro- friendship. Point. Yeah, yeah. The, go Zoro and Luffy. <laughs> like, uh. Look at this, man. Like, look at it. Like, <laughs> Let me go through this for. Let me go through this for you guys, all right? No, I know the point you want to make, and, and like I want you to know, you, you keep <laughs> bringing this up. Like I disagree with you. Like like I haven't seen the light, uh, Thurman. I've seen the light. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> you, bro, honestly, I don't know, bro. Like, I haven't officially heard you say it on on a channel, so you I'm gonna need you to <laughs> your official resignation that. <laughs> Lord, like, bro, like, here's the thing, right? Because what's so, what makes this so funny, too, is that when this whole thing first started, I was like, oh, look, you know, first chapter, Luffy finds Zoro first, and, you know, and he Luffy fucking shoves his Zoro. dick into his face, yeah, by, like, yeah, right, and bro, bro, you were like, you were fighting hard, you were like, all right, bro, like, yeah, you know, it's so funny because too much better because you were like, oh, you know, all right, all right, I'll give you these moments, but guess what, though. <laughs> after the arc goes on, I guarantee you, Luffy, and Luffy's not going to be I mean, I think we still might have some. I'm hoping. <laughs> Luffy, you know, Luffy's going to, you know, jump on Luffy's face and all that shit, like, right? You're like, <laughs> you were, like, hoping, praying. Listen, but guess what, though? I'm going to tell you the exact <laughs> moment, the exact moment that won me over, okay? Uh, I'm going to fucking play by play it for you, all right? Zoro showing up, okay? First of all, for the first time ever. He didn't get lost. I'm fucking shocked, amazed. Yeah, that's cool. literally, he is. I'm so used to him getting lost that when this pillar got cut in half, I in my head I was like, "There's no way that's Zoro." That I literally was about to believe that that was like one of Whitebeard's old crew, or like, or like fucking Mihawk before Zoro. Like that's how fucking much I didn't believe honestly, it was Zoro. Honestly, I I didn't think it was Zoro at all. Like when, when I yeah. got I thought it was something. I thought it was just like the shockwave from like from his punch. Yeah. Like, yeah, this, yeah. Like I, that, that's like I, I didn't even think it was Zoro. Literally thought, every yeah. time Oda does this shit, where Zoro just disappears forever. That's his way of just getting Zoro out, and then Zoro will just stumble into some shit later. So I thought we weren't gonna see Zoro for like fucking twenty chapters. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so first, that's number one, right? But the, the real moment that got me was Luffy. <laughs> like like Zoro's like Luffy, what the fuck? I thought we had a thing going on. I thought we had a plan, and Luffy's like, no, you don't understand, Zoro. They fucking spilled. The Oshiruko. And he's like, oh, they spilled the Oshiruko? Well, they gotta die then. <laughs> <laughs> bro. <laughs> you don't know, bro. <laughs> that's, that's true friendship. Like, I, I can't even front, bro. Like, if that was Usopp, he would have done the, what are you fucking talking about, you idiot? No, no. Zoro's right. Zoro just felt him on that. He was like, yeah, bro, I'm with you. Let's kill him. <laughs> it's so crazy to me, bro, because it's just like, like, <laughs> going, back, going back to what I was saying, like, you're all like, uh, you're, you're for the heart, right? You were like, oh, yeah, I remember the sumo, like, they were Luffy and Usopp were chilling on the, on the crew, you know, doing sumo shit. I'm just like, bro, repeatedly, repeatedly, this arc, Oda has been giving this Luffy Zoro friend, like, almost to the point where it's kind of scary. Like, <laughs> it's kind of scary, what, like, death flags? <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of scary. Like the, the, he's been giving them like so because I haven't seen this much of Luffy Zoro good moments till like Sounds early like the one beginning piece. like East Blue yeah. shit. Like this is like early early One Piece. This is like fucking them getting beat up in the bar. It's kind of shit. amazing, yeah. Like I've like been them, missing this. Like them both figuring out like Blackbeard's fucking weird as shit. So like you know what I'm like right like this is yeah when like, he was like nah bro it's not him it's them. Like it's it's prime time right. Respect I, it's, it's Blackbeard's almost, pronouns. It's almost scary how Oda's just making them because usually, like in a One Piece arc, Luffy has like he'll have like one moment with like someone, and then like the next chapter he'll have some moment like someone else, right? Like it'll be like Nami this chapter, and then all oh, then Frankie this chapter, right? <laughs> he'll have that, but it's just been like a constant like Luffy Zoro, um, Luffy Zoro, Luffy Zoro. Yep. Granted, he's had his moments with other. Hello. Hello. Oh, Hello? you just you said I heard. Granted, he's had moments with, and then you just cut out. So, oh, you said hold on. That's why I was like, oh, my bad, my bad. No, say what you're saying. Continue. Okay, so, um, uh, because granted, he he had did have moments with, 
everyone else, right? But it's just like he, even even in, in in Sanji's Sanji's whole arc, he had a he had moments with Sanji, but like it was just like big like big grander moments. And right, then like, like the I can't be know, pirate king without you. The part where he brings him to lunch, you, yeah. Like I'll, I'll star for you, stuff like that, right? And like he had the the best best bro moment talking about why is he why is he saying all the good stuff about you, right? Like he had those moments, but with oh, Zoro's, that was such a good moment. Oh my god. It's just like back to back to back to back to back to back to back. <laughs> it's just like goddamn Oda. Like you Well, you know what's interesting about his relationship with Zoro is very like it, it's it's quite different from every other member of the crew. Um because like I think out of all the rest of the crew, like there's still that kind of like captain underling like mentality going on. Whereas Zoro is one of the few people that is able to talk to Luffy kind of as an equal. You know what I mean? Like like they they see each other less as like one to be followed, one to be ordered. And yeah, you know, Zoro's really loyal to Luffy, but like you see, I think out of everyone, Zoro's the only person that's willing to be like, Luffy, stop fucking around. You know what I mean? Like they see each other as it's a lot more of an equal relationship. Because I I do personally head canon. I believe them to be pretty equal in terms of power. I always have. <laughs> Um, whereas like, I can't say the same with him and Sanji or him and Jinbei. Um, but him and Zoro, I think are pretty equal in power. Um, and like, I literally think if they were to fight, like, all right, fight, like you and me, whoever wins becomes the captain of this crew. That's a toss up, honestly, in my opinion. Oh yeah. I totally agree. And, and before you say like, even if we're going pure power, keep in mind, Zoro has an advantage because Luffy's weakness is bladed weapons. You know what I mean? Yep. So um, I just I just I just love it, man. There's a mutual just, respect there that isn't there yeah. with all the other ones. Yeah. He just, so he just shows up. He's like, like Zoro's just like Luffy. What are you doing, bro? Like <laughs> right after it? after mind you, fucking making an even louder fucking noise. <laughs> yeah, like, and kids like you, you don't understand the words. Like bro, like they're so similar. Like they're, I've never seen compatible friends so much. <laughs> like because 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 it's crazy to me. Like they have their differences, but mm -hmm. they have a lot. Of, like it's it's like me and you, for example. We have a oh, lot. Yeah. of things in common but there's all there's, we have very few things that we don't have in common right like there's very like least mm -hmm. like we get along so well because we the stuff we have in common beats the stuff we don't have in common like yeah we like different we have different musical tastes you know different probably different anime tastes per se but for the most part we have similar tastes in almost everything right and it's just like with a few, you know, stuff with a few different like stuff we don't have, really have in common. But it's the same thing with Luffy and Zoro. They do go so well together because they have very few things in uh, in common. And it's just like it really feels like Luffy. Luffy gets along with everyone on his crew, but you can kind of see like There's Luffy something different about the Zoro relationship. Yeah. yeah. But he, you can tell, like, Luffy and Zoro have a lot. And I'm really happy that Oda does this too because Oda makes it very clear. Like, these two have a lot of things in common. And, like, and when I see a moment with Usopp, and I'm like, Luffy and Usopp has some good moments, but it's just like they they have stuff in common, but not really as much, right? It's like a normal friendship that makes sense because it's proven, right? I think the whole uh, – not the sunny, the fucking going married argument they had kind of just showed that, you know? Yeah. Like, with San, like the Sanji thing kind of showed that, like Robin, like – we haven't really had a moment where, where Zoro to where he's it kind of shows like because I mean if we take like if we take like Robin Frankie uh, Nami technically uh, Usopp like each one of each one of the characters that I mentioned all had like a falling out with Luffy at some point right like they all had some sort of falling out Elbit for different reasons you know whether they were serious or not they all had some sort of falling out that kind of tested Lu tested their friendship with Luffy right mm -hmm. and. They, their friendship has gotten stronger by that, but we haven't really seen that with Zoro yet, and that's what you probably want to see with this arc. But I don't think Oda's going to give it to us. But yeah, I don't know if he's ever going to do it. I do, I do want the fabled Zoro Luffy fight, but I'm not going to get into it because I've talked about it enough. But um, yeah. What so I will you... say though is like, at the very least, can you agree with me that like, I, like I think that at least if we were to pick like the top two like closest Luffy friends, it would be Usopp and Zoro. We can agree on that, right? Oh, 100%. Yeah, so, like, what I'll say is, like, they're different kinds of friends. Like, they, they have different dynamics. It's like when I go and hang out with, like, my one friend group and then with the other friend group. There's, like, a different dynamic. You act different. You have different things in common. You do different activities. Like, that's the vibe I get. Whereas, like, Lu like, like if, if, if I'm thinking about Luffy, for example, like, Zoro is kind of like his, like, his, his rough friend, his street friend, the one he goes and, like, fucking, like, gets fucking... I don't know, high with in like the back alley. You know what I mean? Like they just, they yeah, fuck around. Whereas like Usopp's like his childhood friend that he does the wholesome shit with. Is that a good metaphor? Yeah. I, I, I say so. 
so like yeah they're both really good friends um but what i'll say is i luffy whenever luffy's with zoro like there's you can just feel that like they've been through the most shit together like they th- that's day one shit like Luffy got out of that barrel, fucked up Alveda, and then bam, Zoro, the beginning of their crew. Like, there's an, an extra special trust there because, like, he was there for the beginning, you know. And and like I said, I really, I really want your opinion on my my little metaphor there about the whole like fall, everyone had like a falling out with Luffy except Zoro thing. Like, bro, I thought that was good. Yeah, like, yeah. no, I mean, I don't know what you mean by metaphor. I, I, th- I thought I responded to it. I was like, I, I do want that fabled fucking like I would love that, but I don't know if they're ever gonna do it. Like, what oh, do you? Yeah. Like not, not table, but like I, I don't know. I thought I thought that was a good. I thought it is. It is good. I just don't know what you want you me to know, say. You know, you know, I have self esteem issues when it comes to my smart thing. I was like, that was oh, very man. good, very good, <laughs> Thurman. Pat, pat, pat. I need some gratification, bro. Like I need some gratification. Thurman, Thurman, you're doing really good. I I love reviewing with you. <laughs> I, I know I know what you're going through. I have these self confidence issues too. You are a great speaker. And especially when you're like really passionate about something, and I enjoyed your all of your talk there. It was great. <laughs> all right. Now let's talk about cool. Scratch Man a Poo. <laughs> My man's just fighting with music. <laughs> Bruh. Scratch so, Man a Poo fucking destroyed. <laughs> now keep in mind, I, I just want to get this out of the way. I just want to get this out of the way, okay? Power scalers are a cancer. <laughs> Um, you have to remember that this is not Dragon Ball Z, everybody. This is One Piece, okay? Fights are a lot more like a game of rock, paper, scissors. You, you have, like, like Pokemon type advantages. What devil fruits work well against others? Yada, 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 right? So everyone's all, like, the first thing everyone everyone's freaking out about it is like, but observation, why didn't they see the attacks coming? Because it's fucking sound, bro. <laughs> like, maybe that's how his, his fucking devil fruit works. Like, he hit goddamn Kizaru with it. Like, like keep that in mind. <laughs> So it's crazy. I'm really, I really want an ex- explanation. Cause so first of uh-huh. all, Abu, as we said, is a fucking snake. Look at him. Look at him. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, you know, a queen. Yeah. No, he, he was from, fucking. From I from cannot Luffy. wait for this. You realize this in the anime is gonna be the best thing ever. He's gonna be like, yo, yo, queen. Let me just hit. Let me just run past some, something past you, brother. I got, I got a check, check, check it and check it with you. <laughs> Yo, yo, what up, man? I like Queen just playing with it, too. He's like, yo, yo, what up, Yo, brother? yo, brother, Apu. Yo, I, I'm starting to think that, like, <laughs> Apu joined because of Queen. Like, I think I think Queen fucking, you know, he's the one that convinced him. Like, he was like, I don't know, is your crew funky enough? And then Queen fucking rocks out, and he's like, oh, yeah, we got the funk, bro. Bro, like, so before we continue further, uh, we got some internal beef going on right now. So it seems like... Yo, well, yeah, the Toby Ropo thing is fascinating. I love that Oda has thrown that in there, right? So Queen hates the Toby Ropo. The Toby Ropo hate Queen. And obviously the Toby Ropo want to take out one of the uh, headliners to get a spot, whereas Queen just hates them. We saw that with, with, when he was doing his initial rundown. He was like, those bastards don't even respond when I do my funk shit. So, like, I love that Queen's like, all right, here's the deal, guys. <laughs> Anyone who catches them, I'm just going to fucking murder one of the Toby Ropo and like, replace them with you. Like, I love how... Oda's doing such a good job at showing how differently Kaido's crew and Big Mom's crew run. Whereas Big Mom's crew, it's like, it's all like there's a lot more trust there. Um, there's you know like there, there's a it's, there's this family values right where it's like okay you earned your position there you earned your position there. Whereas in Kaido's tr- crew, it really is the strongest of the fittest. Dog eat dog. If you are stronger than someone who's in a, in a rank above you and you kill them, you get it. You know what I mean? Like I love that shit. Yeah. So. <clears throat> so I'm curious, who does Queen want to get rid of? I'm gonna assume who's who because who's who has been the, always uh, in the center, like front and center, and he's also the one that was like specifically brought up, like, hey, if Queen died tonight, who do you, you know what I mean? Like, so I'm almost positive it's who's who, that main guy. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Also, curious, like, but, he's being so, set up as like the strongest of the Toby Ropo. Um, uh, so, yeah. who do you think he's gonna fight? Oh, bro, I can't wait for this. Uh, like, Oda fucking came out of nowhere with the Toby Robo making make, making me fucking hyped for them. Um, I don't know. I mean, remember their their goal right now is to find Kaido's son. So, and like, I love what Oda's doing. There's so much happening, right? So you have the Alliance trying to kill Kaido, but then there's like a million things happening within Kaido's thing. Like, you also have like trying to find the son, but then you have Kaido's own men going against each other. It's it's crazy. Like, it's gonna be like a wild. And then you might have Whitebeard's crew come in and. You might have the Marines come in because X Drake is like fucking uh, undercover for Sword. Oh yeah, you realize that's gonna be like five different factions in this shit. Uh, yep, that's that seems reminds me of uh, wasn't there? This is an arc that did that too, technically. 
I mean, the best arcs do that shit, man. Like, I love yeah. when it's not just good evil. It's, like, good, kind of evil, a little bit more evil, uh, neutral. <laughs> yeah, so, it looks like Apu wants to be in Toporopo, too. Check it, check it, check your route. So, uh, and I, I, like, I like how everyone's, like, class motivation. So, look, I think, look, first of all, I, I need to appreciate some of the designs of some of these, these like, background characters. Totally shit. The last three Dude, panels. There was like, the B-Girl. I stand the B-Girl. <laughs> Yeah, bro. Like, holy shit. Wow. I also stand bow and arrow, girl. <laughs> like, oh my god. And then the last panel is just like, there's no hope unless you're a gifter. I was gonna drink. Let them handle that shit, right? No, no I, I like so, that. That's clever, too, because that's what I'd be doing. I'd be like, fuck that shit. <laughs> that's, <laughs> is that Straw Hat Luffy? Fuck that shit. <laughs> but, like, can we talk about how Oda, like, I love how he's showing, like, they're already fucking up. Like, Zoro and Luffy just got rinsed. Like, they're not down, obviously. But, like, they got rinsed pretty fucking quickly. And that does not bode well. Yeah, so, it's interesting because <laughs> I would love how Scratch and Pooh alone is bopped. Like, like, you, like, you didn't expect, but... like, you didn't expect that, right? That shit shocked no, me. No, 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 no. <laughs> I was not no. I was. I, I was expecting, like, a... Like, my man, like, when I, because remember when I texted you, I hit you up my messenger, I was like, did you finish the chapter? Mm. I was coming here like, did this man just, what, just Apu just one-shot Luffy? He, Luffy ah. was literally knocked out for, like, a good three, three to five seconds. <laughs> like, my, like, my man's was knocked out. <laughs> <laughs> and he, and you could tell Luffy was, like, a little self-conscious about that, because he woke up really quick and he's like, I'm okay, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> Like, cause, I, cause I, when I thought when that happened, I was like, oh shit, they're actually do like Oda's actually doing this. Like Oda's actually making like because he, but he woke up. I was like, oh okay, that's fine. Like I was like, Saba <laughs> Odi type shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cause I, I legitimately was like, holy shit, Oda, are you really going this route right now? Like, I'm too. I feel really like he still is going to go that route. <laughs> like, cause it's interesting, right? Because if it's if it's like what I don't well, because. I don't want to say it's just devil fruit. I I feel like it may be something like maybe you know maybe it is a devil fruit. Well, like I, turn, keep in mind the only other time we've seen him use this was in canon, obviously, uh, was against Kizaru. And like remember now, Kizaru is made out of light, so he's a logia. So you kind of get a better example of like what's happening to your body because like you know it's not going to be contained. And when he did he the, the thing that made Luffy explode, it was the I believe it's the same one as the one that like w- cut Kizaru in half. You remember that? Yeah, like there was, it was an explosion around the stomach, and because Kizaru was just made out of light, he f- he fell apart. So like Luffy, being you know not made out of a thing, he t- he tanked that shit. I believe I believe it was like an, an explosion either right at his stomach or like from the inside of his stomach. Um, and like you know that's one of the best ways to bypass Luffy's defenses. You can't you can't armament hockey up your fucking insides. At least I don't think you can. Um, I can yet. <laughs> yeah, not yet. Uh, but like seriously, like I think that. I don't think because people freak out about this, but keep in mind there's a pos- there's a, such a thing as being caught off guard. They were caught off guard. They didn't expect goddamn a poo. And keep in mind too, we as the audience know what a poo's power is, but Luffy, neither Luffy nor Zoro, knew what his powers were. They weren't there when he used them at Sabaody. They had, this is their first time seeing his power. You keep that in mind. Yeah, and what makes it more interesting too is that I'm trying to because. I want to think it's a devil fruit because maybe it's like it a, is a devil fruit. It, I'm like almost it positive like, it's a devil fruit. Like it turns them into like an instrument. Like I an think instrument. he's. A, I think it's gonna be. You know how they always say like I ate the lava magma magma fruit, so I'm a magma man. I literally think he's gonna be a music man. I ate the music 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 fruit. music fruit. <laughs> yeah, so I'm a music man or an instrument <laughs> instrument fruit. So I'm an instrument <laughs> man. But like essentially, what we've seen is he can turn any part of his body into an instrument. He's turned his arm into a saxophone. He's turned his teeth into piano keys. He turned looked like he turned his arm into like a stringed instrument. And then it yeah, so uses sound like attacks, that, yeah. Figure like that, or is this like a, a technique he learned? Either way, I'll be happy No, with it's it. definitely a devil fruit. I'm almost positive. <laughs> almost positive. The music, what the fuck music, else would it be? <laughs> it's, you, you know, this is Oda we're talking about here. This, mm. is, this, this is the man who rivals Togashi and Araki when it comes to power systems. All right? <laughs> mm, no. Um, Togashi, yeah, Nen is way better than devil fruits. He, he can turn the lamest shit into the most coolest shit ever. Don't disrespect Goto. That's Goda. true, yeah. for sure. But no, like in terms no. of pure power system and how and like the detailedness sure. of the power system, then yeah, out, yeah. Out oh, you you you're gonna defend that till you die, you hunter hunter fanboy. We no, get no, it. genuinely, like like that's just a fact. <laughs> like like that. In fact, uh, I would argue to say that hockey is actually a pretty weak power system because like it it kind of like oversimplifies. Like the fights at pre time skip uh, were a lot more interesting because like they had to rely on, like, the, the type advantages and the, the uniqueness of the Devil Fruit, whereas now it's like, who's got better hockey? Which is why you kind of see Oda 
trying to nerf hockey going into battles because hockey would make it too boring. Um, so, yeah, I I think easily Nen is a better power system. But I, I love I love fucking Devil Fruits. Don't get me wrong. Mm. Why is this man capping? I mean, it's just it's just a fact. <laughs> <laughs> It's, like, it's, like, it's, it's insulting to compare this to Nen. Evidence of fact when Hunter Hunter's involved. Oh, yeah. So That's they're out cool. for the shit, right? Say again? And, and uh, <laughs> I'm liking it. So, Kid just fucking cut like, bro. Oh, yeah, bro. <laughs> Punk Gibson <laughs> fucking palmed into the wall. Bro, that's wild because that shit drives me crazy. Because, like, now, like, uh, we see Apu, it's just like, yeah, boy, like, yeah, we got you now. The kid's like, oh, you forgot about me, bitch. <laughs> man, like, bro, like, my man's like, he was, like, look at him. He was like, <laughs> the, the face and shit he made is the same face you did, like, when you rob somebody, right? And you think you got away. And, like, you know that, that there's, like, a, I don't want to say call it like a trope, but it's like a thing in, like, anime. Where it's just like. Oh, yeah, that, that like, his, his fucking glasses are going all glared up and shit. <laughs> or it's just like, where you think you got away from something, and then it's just like, and he prays out of nowhere, and you're just like, Gah. He's just like, he's like, God, it's Kid. And then. <laughs> and then Check he, out my subwoofer. Well, what was his subwoofer going to be? Was that going to be, like, his ultimate move? His final smash? Bro, like, I didn't even have any move names. It's just, all I heard was repel. And then so repeat it, and then, and then he does shit. Are you talking about kid? I'm talking about uh, fucking Apu. He said oh. he said he, before he got hit, he was about to hit hit Luffy and Zoro with another attack, and he said, "Let's see how you like my subwoofer." Oh, it's, it's probably his like his ultimate because I assume that was gonna be some crazy. Because yeah. if every part of his body is an instrument, first of all, I have to get this out of the way. We're perverts. What instrument would his dick be? Hmm, a piccolo. Oh yeah. Oh yo, he said he had a small dick, yo. Yeah. My see, look, see, my man's red is like, yeah, fuck this man. Fuck this snake. No, no. Yeah. I mean he is a snake for sure. But like <laughs> <laughs> I do like Apu though. Like he interested me immediately back in fucking Sabote. And like it's crazy to think that this is the first time c- canonically that we've seen him fight since then. Yeah. Cause it's crazy too because I, I saw this in the anime. But I don't know if it's the same manga. But yeah. Technically, <laughs> technically fought for a little bit in Sabote, so so it's fitting right now, right? Again, who now? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. They they, are, they had an argument. They were gonna fight. They were like threatening to fight each other. Uh huh. <sighs> yeah. I want to get up the fucking. <laughs> it was ridiculous. Hold on, I gotta get up. Damn it, an ad. Wait, 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 wait. Here we go. (laughs) (laughs) Everyone's just looking at him like, what the fuck? If we go back to that shit, like literally Kizaru, Hawkins, fucking everyone's just like looking like what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, man. He's one of the worst generation. One oh, of the super God. I love that he's powerful. I love that he rocked them. Um so I think that uh, what what's happening now then? Like I'm hoping that Kid versus Apu is the fight we get now. Because remember, just as you saw in this chapter, he he has a grudge against him because he was the one he was the fucking traitor that sold them out to Kaido. So like that would be a phenomenal fight. And then that would let Kid and Lu- or, uh, Luffy and Zoro continue to move forward. And I'm hoping that that was just a bad type up for them. They they weren't expecting his power, so then they can continue forward and not be nerfed by other people. Oh yeah, because so I think they're... I think Luffy and Zoro could put up a pretty good match against Queen if they're both fucking going at Queen, both of them. Oh yeah, two v one that shit again, and like because people power scalers are gonna be like, ah, that's crap, but they just got nerfed by fucking Apu. It's like no, bro, they got fucking caught off guard. <laughs> like y- you think? I guarantee you, they would have come back at him and that they would made quick work. <laughs> it was a fucking surprise yeah. attack. I want to see the explanation of his power next next chapter. I want to know what. I mean, we need I don't that. Know if there's much to explain. One... I think it's just sound based attacks. No, I want an explanation. But like, what what could you really say? I think it's just a sound based attack. I want to know the name of the fruit, duh. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'd love to know the name of the fruit, for sure. Um, oh, and I'm fucking, bro, like, instrument, instrument, fruit, music, music, fruit, drum, drum, fruit, something. I don't it's know. more than drums. I mean, his ass pulled out a whole ass saxophone that one time. 
Yeah, but I mean, you know, I wouldn't fucking like, bro. Like, what? What's like? It's probably, I don't know, bro. I'm hyped. I want to see. <laughs> I'm hyped too, man. Um, yeah, I, I'm, a, I'm a came a music man. Oh. oh, the DJ DJ fruit. That'd be lit. <laughs> DJ DJ fruit. Oh, it's probably gonna be like an onomatopoeia for like a wicka wicka fruit. <laughs> wicka wicka fruit. Yeah. I'm with it. Um, I'll give this chapter uh, an eight. Eight. Um, yeah, I I don't know, man. Like, what the – I hope that Oda – I don't know. I hope that Oda kind of – like, I hope we check in on some other Straw Hats soon now. Like, now is the time. Give me – like, what's what's up with Usopp in the tank with the babes? <laughs> Mm, we'll Here's find thing, out, right? And you can't even deny Usopp's W. Like, okay, fine. I, I, I give you that. U- Oda has chosen to let Zoro and Luffy hang out. Like they're hanging, but the alternative for Usopp is hanging in the tank with the babes. All right. Mhm. Mhm. And he gets to tease Sanji constantly. <laughs> oh yeah, bro. That. Oh, I need your shit. Still can't get over that. Like, oh yeah, Sanji, you want to fucking aim this tank, bruh? <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna kick. He's gonna kick the cannon to someone's direction. <laughs> I can't turn it fast enough. Sanji just kicks it around. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> oh, I can't wait, bro. All right, I guess that's it. Peace. Peace.